Was there ever a point in the investigation where the second L was suspected to be Kira? If you've been listening to our conversation so far and have any intention of helping taking down Kira, then call the number I'm about to give you. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny, this is Montana, this is Mia, and this is Winry. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 30 of Death Note, Justice. This episode, Perfect. Justice. Justice. That's a heavy title to introduce into a show of this type, this yeah. genre. That's no, I totally agree because justice by definition is such a weird thing. And we like talked about the concept of justice a lot in my psych of law in the criminal justice system mm -hmm. class. It's such an interesting thing to compare the idea of like legality and the law with justice and like is something just if it's right but not legal and is it just if it's not legal but it, that kind of in between thing and I feel like everything that light has been doing up until this point like what would justice even look like in this situation for him Melo is just on the run with no death note and winging a prayer if you're excited for this episode please make sure to like comment and subscribe down below for death note coming every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to see these episodes right now they're all posted to patreon and extended uncut forms. We have now premiered the first three of the four series pilots that we're considering for what show we're watching after Death Note ends. And this Friday, we have Code Geass, the last pilot we're considering. And then after that, we're going to decide what to watch next. So make sure to check out those pilots that are posted to YouTube and comment below which of the series you'd want us to watch. Are we excited for episode 30 of Death Note? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Nier's <sighs> theme is so in. <laughs> what? Asking, what Sorry, you're just playing with his car. This is really funny. We went vroom. Oh. Vroom. Nier, <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, what do you make of all this? I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are on this Interesting, case. this is his fixation to be in his mind palace. Not to mention unusually cooperative with the task force. So much so that I suspect he's working hand in hand with them. You oh. So? That would make the second Alan and Kira one and the same person. That can't be. Are, are you serious? You got it. Yes, I am. It's Having a pretty said, good assumption. I'll admit that I'm only 7% yeah. certain. <laughs> that was El's per first percentage. Making assumptions is part of any investigation. If we're wrong, okay, if we're wrong. An apology. Yeah. So he's suspecting light as Kira already. Yeah, that was fast. There have been less crimes lately in Japan and around the world. It's because of Kira. My daddy told me that if you do something bad, your name will be written on <laughs> the name, internet please. and Kira will kill you. Come on, I don't have all day. How am I supposed to file this report without your oh, name? Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me yeah. a break. Please every know criminal my knows they're gonna die. Leave me alone, or I'll put oh. your names on the internet. Wow. That doesn't super work though, because you need to know their face. You could look them up though. You wouldn't know it's the right one. To an extent. But also, they don't know that, you know. Okay. Like it, this feels like godlike behavior to me. Mm, like okay. where. <laughs> They're doing it based on faith that something will come their way if they hope that <laughs> their enemy will die. Gotcha. Isn't that interesting? Mm-hmm. I will proclaim God, this I feel right so bad right for her. To all the people of the earth, Kira is true justice. Is that Chikiyagami's wife? She's, yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, the news it's my station. honor to be appointed by Kira as his spokesman. I am prepared to risk my life. Kira's kingdom, Kira's huh? Vision. What a horrible title. This is insane. That's super weird. Kira's voice. Trying to capture Kira is an unforgivable crime. I think this is like the equivalent of anybody deserves to be killed by Kira. It's oh, this yeah. guy. Yeah. A criminal or a regular citizen. Oh. Like he's saying, I speak on behalf of, you know? Mm -hmm. I wonder what it's because about. believe All me I said was that it was going to be some hmm. sort of international announcement. I'm going to try to keep this brief. <gasps> no Is he going to be way? Oh. The United States will no longer oppose Kyoto. <gasps> what? <sighs> Those cowards. I've done it. I've even brought a That transition. To oh my. That was crazy. Oh my god. That's the that's, that's checkmate for him. Mm -hmm. No, no, I never said that. 
but because of Kira, war and conflict have ceased to exist. Criminal organizations are in a state of ruin, not only in the United States, but in all free nations. It's Anyone working. who defies Kira head oh, no. will be killed. That is a fact. We are not acknowledging Kira as a symbol of justice. We are simply saying that, as a country, we will not take any actions against him. How is that That's the same thing. You're saying that you accept I mean, not Kira? Really. Explain yourself! Saying we won't take actions against him, but we don't condone it, like, as the world power and only probable source to stop him? Okay, in terms of, like, the outcome, yes, but it is not the same thing to say we're not going to oppose him and he is the symbol of justice. That specific notion, like, if they had said we're not doing it because of the safety of our president or something like that, that's one thing, but when they said the world's actually kind of better, like, I think that puts you over the line to you think it's just. Yeah, that's true. How can their government do something so cowardly like this? Uh... Do you guys mind if I ask a serious question? Do you guys ever think that maybe Kira isn't completely evil? What? Oh, what kind classic of question Matsuda. Is that, Matsuda. I've been thinking He's about it. He's always thought this way. A little just bit. just doesn't believe that he is. So now you think Kira is justice too? I don't really know. But I think that Kira is trying to fight evil and change the world in his own way. And, well, the world's become a good place for people who live honest lives. So maybe... You're wrong, Matsuda. People are only afraid of losing their own lives. Yeah, living in fear. How can you think that's real peace? Exactly. I understand that. Believe me, I know that as well as you. It's just that I can also understand the other side. When it comes down to it, I've always been a really weak person. But I'm also a detective. I can't accept Kira. I know it's my duty to catch him. No, I want to catch the him. The conflict is real. Light thinks this is interesting. I yeah. I must be crazy or something, huh? Or he's like, I didn't no, mean that. crazy. Well. You're normal. <laughs> You two I also you think that. I'm no, sure that he won't come that far. Kira probably knows that what he's doing is evil, but he'll try to change the world even as a martyr at the cost of his soul. That's his brand of justice. Anyway, we shouldn't be arguing about it. Because I think Good it's too crazy. It's, it's not too much call. for him to fully be All like. We have to think about I understand. Yeah, you can't actually believe that. Caught, then that makes just massacring evil. people is a truly good thing. I more mean that Light can't fully be like, I am in the same boat as you, Matsuda. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Would be yes. too suspicious of mm -hmm. him to do that. It's interesting hearing Light kind of defend it through the lens of, we know it's wrong, but, and then said specifically that he's sure that Kira believes that, which I feel like we haven't heard directly from him. That like, I know that what I'm doing is bad, but I'm willing to do the bad thing. I think it's a weird kind of half-truth situation. Yeah, it might be some sort of level of confession. But then that makes him evil. But if he wins and rules the world, then I guess he's justice. But from now on, the world will start leaning in favor of Kira. It's only a matter of time. You know, he did call Kira it earlier. Be justice. They're starting to perceive it that way. What's going mm -hmm. to happen to us now? It looks like we've been disbanded, thanks to that chicken of a president. No, he's not even a chicken. He's less than a maggot. Oof. Dang. <gasps> Who's this? <gasps> oh, Jesus. I don't think we even know these people. So you're alive. Mello. Whoa. Oh, just scrolling that's in. That's brave. Let him in. Whoa. Not even looking at him. That's really something. No. Yeah. Welcome. Drop your weapon. Ooh, yeah, because he was in the explosion. He had to yeah. take some kind of damage. Everyone, please put away your guns. Having a shootout here would achieve nothing. It seems like things have been going just as you planned, Nier. Yes. I take it you've already heard all about the second L from Lindner by now? I've pretty much figured out who Kira is, and it's mostly yeah. thanks to everything you've done. <laughs> Shut up, Nier! I'm not just a tool for you to use in order to solve your puzzles, you know. Kind of no. is what it used. If you really want to shoot me, then go ahead and do it. He did say he wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. Stop! If you shoot him, then the rest of us will have no choice but to shoot you too. What will it solve if both of you die? That's just yeah. What they'll Kira lose wants. their only two people. Mm -hmm. You have a good point. Anyway, I'm only here for one thing. I came to take back that photograph you have. 
Of course. I got it from the orphanage. There was only one, and no copies uh, have been made. Ah, I've there always it is. gone ahead and dealt with everyone who knows. I thought there'd be something. Inside an outside whammy's house. They'll keep quiet. I can't say 100% well, for helping certain, you? but it shouldn't be possible for you to be killed by the notebook. Is that the only business you had with me, Mello? Two sides of a attempted justice coin. Let's get one thing straight. I have no intention of working. This animation is beautiful. Yes, yeah. I know. At the same time, I can't just take my photo and leave. That wouldn't be right. So I'll settle my debt. Hmm. The killer notebook. It belongs to a Shinigami. Whoever touches it is able to see a god of death. That's crazy. Who Whoa. Would believe in something like that. I would. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> What good would it do for it's him? It's like a Cedric no Diggory like Dragon that. Egg moment. If he yeah. Had something to gain, he could at least come up with a more believable story. Also, some of the rules written inside are actually fake. That's all I can tell you. From smart. There. Not smart, but like good to tell him that it's going to be useful. It's also, fair. Now the thing that it's stopped. Just. Now the thing that stopped L doesn't isn't in their way. Mm-hmm. Near. Which of us is going to reach Akira first, I wonder? More competitive, less attack, We're okay. We're both headed towards the same destination. I'll be waiting for you. It seems like they have better sportsmanship. Yeah, this seems to be... I think hearing that Nier was covering for him was enough to, for Melo to know, like, okay, I can't quite kill this guy right now. Like, Yeah, which is interesting because that is such a huge difference from Light. Absolutely. That's interesting. L kind of, but also I feel like L is more in line. L never exchanged information for anything other than a, a move. You yeah, know? yeah. Melo did it out of feeling he needed to compensate. Like here. obligation. Yeah. Are those tarot cards? I don't know, Fake to be rules. totally honest. I think so. There's no doubt that the notebook can cause heart attacks and control its victims to My palace? As for burning it or tearing it up, the notebook still exists and there's no way to confirm the rule one way or the other. That means... The only rule to miss the checkout is the, the false rule 13. The one that states a yeah. person will die if he doesn't write a name within 13 days. Giovanni, huh? please set up a connection. How must yes, that sir. be the rule? The only fake one? Yeah. Logically, all of the other ones have been proven to happen. And like mm. that one, gotcha. and the only two that were sus were the one where it burns up and that one. And he said there's no possible way to test the other one because gotcha. that would require burning the book. Right. So Can't therefore, this is probably the fake one. It's near. Yes. L, I thought you should know that we caught Mello. <gasps> but he escaped soon afterwards. Hmm. We were able to interrogate him for a while. He didn't really escape, did he? You let him get away. Near's kind of right. playing all angles. No. We tried to restrain him, but he was too quick. Anyway, Mello hmm. mentioned that there was some sort of Shinigami attached to the notebook. I would like to ask the Shinigami a few questions. Forget it, I'm not up for that. The thing that's bothering me the most about this is the issue of those rules written in the notebook. I have reason to believe that one of them is fake. Huh? Mm -hmm. A fake rule? Yes. Oh. Now, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this. Out of all the rules, which do you think is the fake? Now they're gonna know. Holy crap. It's a test. In the process of elimination, the obvious choice would be the one stating that the owner of a notebook will die if they don't write a new name in it every 13 days. Hmm. I don't believe that. I thought you might say so. I've reached the same conclusion. <laughs> Shinigami, you know the rules of the notebook well. Tell us, are any of them false? No, they are all real. I see. You have a Shinigami there with you? Yes. Is that so? I think I'm beginning to get the picture. That's the same face you made when he got the phones, Elden. And he's making the Shinigami lie on his behalf. Yeah. Whoa, this guy's good. He nailed it. I don't Whoa. Get what he needs. So Death and the Devil. Is lying and the rules fake. It doesn't really change which one is light and which one is the Shinigami? Wait, what? The two cards that he pulled, the tarot cards. Oh, I didn't see one that. One was death, one was the devil. Oh, I didn't see that. So which one is Ryuk and which one is light? Light is death, Ryuk's the devil. The wings give it away. Then the he's a grim reaper with the scythe. 
light with all the killing. So what if the Shinigami is lying and the rule is fake? It doesn't really change anything, does it? Yes, it does. It means that Light's incarceration would be meaningless. The rule says you die if you don't continue writing They're figuring it out. That's false. Being alive after more than 13 days in confinement wouldn't really prove anything. Even if that's true, it doesn't mean he's guilty. Besides, there's no way that Light can be Kira. Before he passed away, the deputy director himself was able to confirm that he didn't have a notebook. That's a really, really hard that's... thing to... Yeah. But that completely implicates Matsuda. And he's the one who's been saying this whole time. Mm, don't you kind of see where he's Is Light going to have to say it's probably Matsuda? If there's a problem, I suggest we verify the rule this way. I will volunteer to write down Melo's real name in the notebook. Oh. <laughs> of course, that means he'll die. If I also die 13 days later, well, then I guess Kida wins. Either then way, the notebook's it's a real. I'm willing to make. What? So this is just a game to him? Yeah. Testing and confirming the 13 day rule can only benefit the Kida investigation. And other than my possible death, there would be no So he doesn't care about Mello either. I'm willing to put my life on the line if it will help Or maybe it's a test case. for light. If I answer him based on my feelings well, alone, yeah. it maybe. only make yeah. me look worse to everyone. Could, Could you be. please wait for a moment? We need to discuss your suggestion. Yeah. We can say that we must respect human life and deny this request. But I can't suggest that. <laughs> I'm the one under suspicion. It's a tough call. Mello killed the deputy director. If Nier is willing, I wouldn't stop him. I'm against the idea myself. I don't believe that Kira is hiding among us. We can't use the notebook, no matter what happens. Sus. We should respect the deputy director's wishes to the end. I feel the same. I'm opposed to the test. Hmm. Okay. Nier, we've talked it over and we can't allow you to use the notebook like that. I had a feeling you might say so, no matter. Just one last question before I go. Was there ever a point in the investigation where the second L was suspected to be Kira, even if the suspicions were later dropped? If you've been listening to our conversation so far and have any intention of helping my investigation and taking down Kira, then call the number I'm about to give you. Day or night, I will answer. The choice is up to you. Whoa. There's no way that like Green. Kira. No, it's he's getting like an aura. I don't want to believe he's Kira, but if the 13 day rule is fake, then we really can't say for sure that he's innocent. This could change everything. There's oh, they're getting it. And Ryuk's blue. That's interesting. Here, I have to kill him. All right. Oh, that's my terrible God. for him. And the thing is, the more suspicious he is of everyone, yes. the worse he looks. This yep. We're back in it. Is this a joke? If you want proof, I can read out a list of people that I'm going to punish tomorrow. Mr. President, I am very grateful that you and your country have sympathized with me, but I'm afraid even that much isn't enough. The SPK is still trying to catch me despite your recent announcement. I want you to stop them immediately and formally disband them. So now he actually has to fight it's for Kira. I want you to use the American police, the CIA, the FBI, Holy all shit. other law enforcement organizations at your disposal to find out where the SPK members are currently hiding. Huh. As soon as you found their base of operations, I want you to forward that information to a third party, Mr. President. Whether you live a long life or not is up to you. Oh my Don't god. Damn. The president must be so terrified knowing his face is everywhere and his name's everywhere, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's... I feel like people would just shut down. Yep. I mean, that's kind of what is happening. I feel like people would start wearing masks around. Yeah. Oh, he's the third party. Oh, okay. Yep. The display of greed in this show. Yeah. Nier really picked apart light though and sowed the seeds of that doubt. That was wild. How did he sow the seeds of doubt so effectively there? Gosh, that was It's like exactly the fact that that task force has been keeping everyone so in the dark is kind of coming back to bite light in the ass because because everything that's suspicious can't be written off in like a oh well, you know, maybe he saw it in the newspaper or maybe, you know, like I don't know, he just figured it out, but because it's been so secretive and so locked down, the second he was able to give 
pretty vague details. It was like, oh my God, there's no way he would be able to know that unless it's right. Yep. And that is, that's like a fascinating way to like have this come back. Right? Wow. Especially because that was such a strong point for him was how yeah. secret and like isolated, I guess, from everything. Yeah. Like cut off from, from all other investigations and media kind of thing. But he discerned it outside of it. So. Damn. Now the trail's back on. We'll see if, he, if what drastic measures he... I mean, he's already well, getting the whole U.S. Those, government on their side. But. What are those four guys going to think? Because yeah. they're like... We'll have to see. Oh, my God. BSL was suspicious of Light. But if Light is Kira, and I just come out and say we should investigate him again, then I'll probably end up dead just he's, like Yeah, L. no, they're literally going to die. Anything. Oh. 13-day rule. Huh? He's thinking pretty deep about this. I haven't heard his inner thoughts like long this. history. I can tell exactly what you're thinking about and what's bothering you. Between you and me, you should go ahead and do what you think is right. I didn't trust L to begin with. I never did, to be honest. I didn't sign up to join the Kira Task Force because Light was running it. I joined because I wanted to work with you. Ide. This is the guy who left at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can contact Nier without letting Light oh. know. Okay, I'll make sure yeah, that no he's one fucked. knows what you're doing. Oh you boy. Me. Oh. God, he's so... <laughs> he just is on top of everything. Light, I really want to believe that you're not Kira. Well, they've been working for years this on this. This is really bad! Turn on the TV! It's Whoa. Demigawa! Huh? Oh, the US thing, I think. Okay, gotcha. This yeah. is Demigawa Live! We now have the building completely surrounded. Whoa. Is this where the SPK is? Right now, I think so. Yeah. Be able to hide from us for long. Behold the power of the people. The power of justice. Whoa. Yeah, Winry, behold. As soon as Nero escapes, I'm going to write his name in the notebook. Now, what's going on, Nier? Could it be that this is some sort of plot by Mello to finish off the SPK? No, surely it couldn't be that the SPK security Way's was so in his face. that even a normal citizen could find out where it was located. Damn it. He's lying through his teeth. <laughs> I win. He's been saying I win too many times. Yeah. That's not what someone who's gonna win says. Yeah, well, I mean, in this case, it looks like Light has the overwhelming advantage here, and that is where we are left for episode 30 of Death Note. Delete! Delete! Ah! Oh my god. Oh? Whoa, whoa, that- The first gentleman is- The one that was given by Ryuk! The new person! Oh my god. Wow, that was really, really, really good. Crazy the way that it keeps flip-flopping and feels like we're back in that, like, it seems overwhelmingly in one person's favor and then back to the other. Yeah. Thank you for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode. We also have these episodes posted to Patreon right now in their extended uncut forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Question one, Amalias asks, what are your thoughts about the world's slowly shifting views towards Kira with the part of the media and now powerful political leaders accepting him as a part of the current system? Scary, realistic, far-fetched? I think it's scarily realistic. I think it's scarily realistic. I mean, people can get used to unbelievably horrible things if it's not directly impacting them and they don't yeah. have to look at it. I think it would happen even faster than it happened in this. Like, Honestly, yeah. No, like, me too. like, it just now got to this point seven years later yeah. after the beginning or six or five. I would say two years max. Yeah. Once they realized that nobody was dying except criminals, there would be a large population that would be like, this guy has the answer yeah like and it's just like exactly like, I mean, if it's you look the at same... it picture but if you're looking as a math equation you're like when you think for a second innocent people exist that are said to be guilty even though they're not exactly like racial discrimination exists and 
the amount of people that would ha- be booked and have their stuff in the system and then just yep. die. Like No, exactly. It's the principle of it. You know what must have been crazy what? in this world? Being a detective. Because you, right? you're on a case and you're like, I literally have such a short amount of time to figure out if this guy's like innocent yeah. before it, Kira kills him. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, I definitely agree with you that from like a very shallow perspective, your average person who's not committing crimes is going to look at this situation and go, oh, well, I'm not doing anything bad. So this is great for me. Yeah. But then there are just so many ways that that can go horribly, horribly wrong because there are no real in-between measures to make sure this is actually like the correct information that's being put out. Yeah. That just makes it like fundamentally morally unacceptable regardless of the rates of stuff. Yeah, so it's wild to see the world shifting, but it's not unrealistic. 100%. All right, let's go to our second question. All right, Brenda asks, do you guys think that Mellow and Nira's competition to catch Kira is about justice or more about their own pride, aka who else should have chosen as a successor? Yeah, like which one? Okay, from a character perspective, I'm going to do this from like a drama perspective. If we're looking at Mellow's actual purpose, it's to be number one. It is not to solve the case. Right. So that's selfish. In and of itself, 100% has made goal is selfish. Nier, on the other hand, his main goal is catch Kira at all costs, Mm -hmm. not caring about killing anybody, which is a moral in his methods, but his goal is more moral and just than Mello. So I would say far and above Nier is the more acceptable successor and like that that is the reason why Mello is prompted to even have his character to begin with is how obvious near is is the follow-up if you're somebody like Mello who's very good at the social aspect connecting people putting the dots together but doesn't have this mind palace that near has it's just got to be so endlessly frustrating to know that like you, no matter how much you try you can never summit and like that is what prevents him from being an effective L is how no, hell exactly. he is on he's being never been a natural. Well, of that's not Swift. true. He's a natural. Like cuz I was about to say that too. He is really a genius. He's just not quite as like not he, natural he's had the way moments L where he was. sits there and he pulls out tons of different facts and new things and like so he's still I mean he was in the school he was number two he's just not sorry he's number yeah. three he's just not number two right I feel like they're both really competitive but like the base of the competition is different or like the thing that's motivating or pushing the yeah. competition is different Mello is trying to win the competition because he wants to be acknowledged and seen as better than near he wants to beat near he wants yeah. to, whereas near obviously wants to be the one to catch Kira, but it's more of an internal, like, I have to figure this out thing. It's not so much. I think he just wants to catch Kira, and that's sim- yeah. simple. That's yeah, it. but it's not. He, want- he would work with Melo if Melo wanted to. Right. He wants to catch Kira, and it's not in relation to anything else. Yeah. It's more pure. Yeah. All right. I'll ask the final question. Why exactly do you think that after Light originally did his first kill, he became so hell bent upon completing his task with no remorse whatsoever? Mm -hmm. Something I had not considered about a show where the morality is like entirely surrounding like a theoretical future world is how good or bad someone is, is completely dependent on if they're successful. What do you mean? So if Light gets caught, then every single person he's killed up until that point, their deaths are no longer a stepping stone to his perfect oh, utopia yeah. to save everyone. He's just a giant fucking mass murderer who oh, killed a bunch of people yeah. for no reason. Mm. But if he is successful and he has, I am i don't think this, but from his perspective, if he is successful in creating a world with no crime, everyone is happy, everyone's amazing, like everything's amazing, then then all of the people he killed to get to that point, their deaths meant something and their lives stood for something uh, because they created yeah, this totally amazing right. situation. And if that doesn't happen, then it just Then tumbles. he's just terrible. Wow. That's actually... According to him, yeah. not even according to us. Mm-hmm. That's a really good point. Right? I hadn't thought about that. I, I hadn't either. That's like an entire... That's like such a reason why he's so unrelenting. Because mm-hmm. he wow. can't stop. Yeah. Because if he stops, he is the worst. Yeah, wow. And he knows that. That's an amazing point. Anyway, that's about it for this episode. Uh, Thank you for watching. Are we excited for episode 31 of Death Note? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.